Hello everyone, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how you can add a monochrome or black and white effect to your images inside of GIMP. So the really quick answer is just that you have your image loaded up into GIMP, you go to the colors menu, and then we'll go down here to saturation, and then you can lower the scale here from 1.0 all the way to zero. So if it's at zero, it is pure black and white. Somewhere in between, it's just going to be very muted colors leaning towards gray. And so if you want it to be pure black and white, then of course you would set the scale to zero. But to go a little bit beyond that, let me also show that you can actually do saturation reducing to zero on a color by color basis. So if you want, you can go to colors, hue, saturation, and then on this kind of wheel looking thing, you can select individual hues of colors and shift them towards a zero saturation. So if you want, you can click on blue and then take the saturation and crank that all the way to zero. So using this tool, you can target specific colors. If you don't want the edges to be quite so hard here, you could have a little bit of overlap added on. Uh, it may look better with other images than this one, uh, but let's change the saturation on red as well. So you can just see that you can keep stripping out the saturation on a color by color basis if you so desire. So you do have other options than simply taking the entire image down to zero. Now, uh, if you do go back to color saturation and you take the scale to zero, it's worth pointing out that this only applies to the layer you have selected. So if I wanted another layer on top of this, I could have colors on that layer while this underlying layer has no color. So I'm going to create a new layer and then I'm going to use command A to select the entirety of this layer and let's add a border. So I could go to edit stroke selection and we can stroke with a solid color, but first I guess I have to select one. So let's just grab a very vibrant red, go to edit stroke selection and stroke. So you can have the background layer be completely monochrome and then other layers can have color. So to show another monochrome trick, we can isolate part of the image to be not affected by the black and white effect. So I'll try it on the eyes here as a really easy example. Let's use the ellipse select tool in the toolbox in order to select these irises to be separate from the rest of the image. So I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to left click, hold and drag a shape to get an ellipse of the eyeball. I'm going to control Z that and try to get it correct. So. A couple just quick trial and errors here. That one's pretty good. And then to get the second iris, I'm going to hold shift down and let's get that area there. Okay, so now we have a selection here. Uh, I want to make everything else in the image monochrome. So I'm going to invert the selection with select invert. Okay, so now we're actually selecting everything else on the screen. So if we go to colors and then saturation and we crank this all the way down to zero, we hit OK. Well, now the only area that actually is going to keep the color are the irises here and the eyeball. So that's a really rough example, and you probably want to clean it up with something like the freehand select tool. I will just grab down there and then do the same thing. Color saturation, crank that down to zero. And now let's do another freehand selection, the area down there. OK, and then color saturation, shrink it down to zero. Okay, and then that can look a little bit better. But as you can see, you can apply effect to part of your image rather than the entire thing. Another way is that once you have your selection, you can separate them into separate layers. I just skipped that step here since I'm just doing a really simple example. But that is pretty much how you can do a monochrome slash black and white effect inside of GIMP, taking your image and stripping out all of the color. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching to the end. I hope all of you found this video helpful and I will see you in my future video content.